Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Broken Sword Shadow of the Templars. We are going to be off to Ireland, I think. We're going to click on this arrow and see if we can go to the airport. We can. Yes, look. Oh, so we've got like a map. So maybe there's going to be other places we can go to as well, other than just Ireland. I don't know. Um, Lochman in Ireland. Here we go. A few hours later. This is going to be interesting. I wasn't expecting I all of this. On the way into Loch Marne. The castle where Pegram's excavation was located. Oh, this is cool! I wasn't expecting, like, world travel in this game. Awesome! Island, the Lochman Gem. Lochman, what a beautiful village. Nico and I must really be on something here. Ancient manuscripts, the Knights Templar, and a tripod from a medieval manuscript. All I need is the gem that goes with it. So we're on the hunt for the gem then that we saw on top of the tripod on that um, ancient scroll. What's this? This is where the beer goes. I tugged at the trap door, but it was locked from the inside. Ah, I'm sure we couldn't figure out a way to open that up. Oh no, we can't. I thought that was going to work, but apparently not. Look at this. Look, it's, a, it's an Irish pub. Let's talk to this guy. What's he doing over here? It's a completely different vibe already, isn't it? Hi there. What? What's your name, kid? Who are you calling, kid? Who the hell are you? Uh, let's ask some questions. Why would we ask about the inspector? Oh, we can pretend to be George or the inspector. Let's, pre let's just be us. I'm George Stobart, and I'm with the good guys. You're a head case, mister. A few sandwiches short of the picnic. <laughs> Cut the crap and tell me your name. Liam McGuire. What are you doing hanging around the bar, McGuire? I'm on the run from me dad. Why? Did you do something bad? I ain't done nothing, boss. You can tell me, kid. Is it your dad? Oh, sir. He drinks every last penny down his evil throat. And there's me poor old mother. Bedridden and dying of presumption. I tried to buy her medicine. Chopped firewood for father Mahoney till me fingers bled. The old skin flint cheated me too. But I took the pennies he gave me back home. Look, ma, says I. See what your darling son has earned with his own sweat and blood. Life story, man. Suddenly, me dad appears and grabs the loot. I'm off to Dublin, heavy drinking, says he. Watch out till I get back. That's why I runned away. Something in the grin on his face told me he wasn't being strictly true. <laughs> That's what I was Compared thinking. To him, Huckleberry Finn was a candidate for Altar Boy of the Year. Uh, all right, well, let's ask some questions then. What can you tell me about the castle, Maguire? What do you want to know? Well, can I get inside? No, it's locked up. Does anyone live there? No, only... What do you want to know? Oh, nothing. You know something about the castle you're not telling me, don't you? No. What is it you're covering up? Is it something you're scared of? I ain't scared of nothing. Uh, well, that doesn't sound entirely convincing. I'll give you one last chance to tell me about the castle. Oh, yeah? And what if I don't? Then I'm taking you back to school. Oh, there's a ghost. It's called... The Phantom of Loch Man. A ghost, you say? You're not telling me you believe in ghosts, are you? Mister, I seen it with me very own eyes. Last Tuesday night, I went up to see what that dig was about. I just reached the top of the wall when I hears this awful noise. What sort of noise? A horrible snuffling and snorting, like O'Brien's pig, only worse. It was coming. From inside the castle. Hmm. Interesting. Did you find out what was making the noise in the castle? No fear. I just sat there on the wall like Humpty Dumpty. The moon was cracked and greasy like an old dinner plate. The yard was full of shadows that could have been hiding anything. I would have gone home, but my legs had lost their stuffing. Did you get to see the ghost? Indeed I did. And a fearsome sight it is too. I sat on my ass, waited while the moon went down. Then out it comes from the shadows, all grey and tattered and hunched over like an old bent willow. Then I hears this spluttering and splashing and horrible laughter in the dark. I was so scared. Why, I fell off the bloody wall. Huh. 
Well, I'm not sure he's telling the truth about this. I'm sure there's a rational explanation for what you saw. That's what I'm castle. thinking. There is. The bloody place is haunted. If you say so. Do you know anything about a clown? Have you seen a guy dressed as a clown? Here in Loch Marn, they all dress like clowns. <laughs> the man I'm looking for is a dangerous psychotic. Jesus. It's just like that film I saw. Did this clown see? And he's after this kid who saw him kill a guy. He tries to warn the sheriff, only no one believes him. Then, while he's in the tub, the clown cuts him up with a chainsaw. My God, that doesn't sound suitable for a kid like <laughs> no, it you. doesn't. Who are you calling a kid? I'm 25. <laughs> yeah, right. You're not a day over 14. Oh no, it's 25 that I am. Married with a car and three kids. Ten kids if you count the wives. I, I don't know what to make of this guy. I really don't. Do you know a man called Pegram? Can you describe him like on the telly in the cop shows? He's an English archaeologist. I know the man you mean if he's the one. Alright, do you know more about him? Can you tell me where I'd find Pegram? I like the music here. He's not here now, but if I seize him, I'll ask him. Okay. Do you know what Pegram was doing in the castle? Digging for buried treasure. Jewels and gold and skeletons, like in the films. All right. Well, I guess we. Give me your hand. Get lost. Oh, we oh, still can't on, use I just it. Want to show you a little trick. No way, Mister. I don't do tricks. Father Mahoney told me I'd burn in hell if I did. <sighs> I just want to shake your hand. That's all. No way. Even in Ireland, we can't do it. Right. Let's ask him about this. Have you ever seen this man before? What a slimy character. No. I never seed him. Well, that's good, because it means that Khan hasn't come here yet. See you later, kid. Okay, mister. Right, well, yeah, you you stay here. So we can go off up here, which is interesting. Let's head into the pub. Wow. Check out this place. Patrick's. Uh, so we've got a couple of people... Well, a lot of people that we can speak to. What is that? Is that the dishwasher? Ooh, what's this thing? We can pick something up here. What is it, like a bar mat? Did we just walk through that guy? It was a beer-stained piece of toweling. Ooh, nice. Okay. Uh, can we look at it? It was a rectangle of toweling printed with the words Nagopalene Stout Builds Body. Lovely. Right. Uh, let's try talking to some people then. A lot of conversations in this episode. My name's George. Episode. Pleased to meet you, mister. My name's Fitzgerald. All right, Fitzgerald. What can you tell me about the, uh, the old castle? What can you tell me about the castle? There's nothing there. Just an old ruin. How old? I really couldn't tell you. Hmm. Anything else? Have you ever explored the castle yourself? I used to play there sometimes. When I was a kid. Then one of the little ones fell off the wall, broke his head and died. We didn't go there anymore. You haven't been up there recently? No. Mm, okay. Do you know Professor Pegram? He's the archaeologist, isn't he? That's right. Okay. Did you work at Professor Pegram's dig? <laughs> What gave you that idea? Why are you so shifty? Can I get you another drink? Oh, no, thank you. I, I shouldn't be drinking at all. I'm on tablets and my nerves. More than a pint and I'll pass out. Ah, maybe that's why he seemed shifty. Can you ask Never about seen this? this towel before? Doesn't it belong on the bar? Not anymore. Very observant, Fitzgerald. It's mine now. Uh, this? Do you recognise the man in this photograph? No, I'm sure I don't know. Oh, this guy over here is, um... Yes, coughing and spluttering everywhere. Shake my hand. It's a trick, isn't it? Damn it, you're right. I can't seem to fool anyone. <laughs> are we ever going to be able to use this thing? In the, in the whole game, are we actually ever going to be able to use it? This guy is playing uh, a violin, it looks like. He wasn't listening. Okay, so we can't talk to him. What about there. this guy? Uh, my name's George Stobart. Pleased to meet you, I'm sure. Hey, O'Brien. Can I help you? Oh, O'Brien, is that the guy with the pig? Do you know Sean Fitzgerald? Yes, I do. What do you want with him? I want to talk to him about working at the dig. I can't imagine anyone implying Sean Fitzgerald on a dig. He wouldn't know a post hole from his elbow. Interesting. Let's ask about the ghost. Have you heard of the Phantom? More than that. I've seen it. And let me tell you, it's a threat. A lot of people seem to have seen so it. So it's not just a local legend. There really is a phantom of Loch Marn. Oh no. I was talking about the phantom of the island. <laughs> Alright, Templars. Have you ever heard of the Knights Templar? I most certainly have. A remarkable institution. Did you know? 
They were the originators of our system of credit. Their financial empire stretched from the Atlantic to the Caspian Sea. With bases in so many countries, they had to establish new methods of fiscal transfer. So, the Knights Templar were nothing but a bunch of bankers. I don't get it. Are you saying these Templar guys invented bank charges? In a manner of speaking, I suppose they did. What a dirty trick. Didn't anyone try to stop them? Oh, yes. They were arrested, and many were burnt at the stake. Good. They bloody well deserved it, if they were anything like my bank manager. <laughs> God. <laughs> Alright, well, we can ask more about the castle. What can you tell me about the castle, Mr. O'Brien? It's a fine sight now, isn't it? Dates back to the 10th century, you know. Don't know, I haven't been there. <laughs> the existing building was added much later, of course. Or are the ruins open to the public? Oh, no, it's much too dangerous. Anyway, there's nothing of interest remaining. So weirdly, it seems like some of well, not weirdly, because it's it's quite often the case, especially with like old castles and things, that parts of it were added on much later from the original castle. So I wonder if maybe there's a specific part of the castle which is going to have what we're looking for. How can I get into the castle? Well, those walls were built specifically to stop people getting in, Mister Sobart. But I dare say you'll find a way if you've the will. All right. Do you know about this tripod? Can you tell me about the tripod which was found at the castle? Well, there's a bone of contention and controversy. It was dug up by an Englishman of the archaeological persuasion. Who was this Englishman? Professor Pegram. The same man who dug up the gem. Hmm, let's ask about him then. Do you know where I can find Pegram? You're too late to meet that fella. Is he oh? dead? Not that. But he's gone from the village. A saw pint with our esteemed host, I might add. Interesting. Do you know where Pegram has gone? I'm sorry, but I don't. He hoped anchor in the dark, and shipped out before the dark. Why did he do that? Who knows? A guilty conscience, or a secret assignation. Whatever the reason, he'll not be missed in Lachmar. Maybe now the fuss about the gem has died down. We can get back to normal. Right, so I'm thinking he either found the gem, or an attempt was made on his life, or there was a pending attempt on his life or something, and he ran. What can you tell me about the gem which Pegram found? Now there's a gem, which should never have been taken. Right, so he did get it. The man would have to be full of greed to covet that stuff. What's your interest in the jewel? You're not a reporter, are you? Nope. Uh, no. Oh no, thank the Lord for that. Uh, right, let's ask, ask about the, uh, the barman then. Why is Pegram's departure upset the landlord? He's lost a paying guest, that's why. Ah. More than that. There's the question of an unsettled bid. Oh no. Oh, Michael's seen red over the business, and I don't blame him. Can you tell me more about the landlord? Mick Leary? He's what you call a, a would-be sophisticated. The trouble is, his idea of sophistication extends as far as putting paper in the lavatory. <laughs> I never worked out why he did that. It's much too dark in there to read. That's true. Have you ever run your hand over the back of the door? The graffiti is written in braille. God, okay. You seen this guy before? Do you recognize the man in this photograph? Nope. I've never seen him before. Good. So I'm, I'm fairly sure that Khan's not been Goodbye, to Ireland. Now. Let's talk to this guy. Hi, my name's Stobart. George Stobart. Hello there, mister. What can I do for you? Wondering if you know anything about Pegram. Do you know Professor Pegram? Do I know him? Do I know the good professor himself? No, I don't. Okay. I mean, I know who he is. I don't know him to talk to. Okay, uh... Do you know anything about Pegram's excavation? Only that he didn't have the right tools for the job. What he needed was shovels and a JCB. Pegram was digging for historical remains, not coal. Is that a fact? What the hell for? It's the science of archaeology, part. Understanding how people used to live by what they've left behind. One day archaeologists might be digging up our remains. Imagine that, Mr. O'Brien. I wonder what they'll find. Well, it won't be arrowheads and beakers. <laughs> Fast food cartons and flavoured condoms are likely. <laughs> oh, Did God. anyone from the village work at Pegram's Dig? I tried it myself, but that high and mighty history man called me incontinent. What a nerve. Hadn't I dug more holes than the rest of them put together? Alright, let's ask about this guy, because he's there's something about him. Do you remember seeing Sean Fitzgerald at the dig? Hmm. Let me see now. I think me brain box needs a spot of lubrication. 
course it does. Can I buy you a drink? You most certainly can. Give me a drink for my friend here. Who? Doyle? Has he conned you into buying for him? Seems like it. Shame on you, Patrick. Same again. Just a point this time, Michael. <laughs> one point of realm coming up. Just the one point. Uh, right, now let's ask. remember Sean Fitzgerald now? I can picture the scene as if it was only last week. Come to think of it, it was only last week. Fitzgerald was there all right. Him and a bunch of Ah, students. interesting. He was speaking with the boss man. Right. Can you tell me anything about the castle on the hill? Oh, I don't know much about anything. You should ask Mr. O'Brien here. He does joined up right in. <laughs> Would you be one of them history fellows yourself? Uh, yeah. That's right. Professor Stobart, Miskatonic University. You're an archaeologist, and you're asking us about the castle. Excuse me, Mr. O'Brien. The gentleman was talking to me. How come you didn't leave with the others? I didn't know they'd gone. Oh, yes. Packed their spades and shovels, and away they went. Seems I missed all the excitement. What excitement? Huh. Do you know this guy? Do you recognize the man in this photograph? It's a handsome mug on that fella, to be sure. Is he a film star? No, he's Bye not. <laughs> Alright, well, we've got to talk to the uh, the barkeep. Barkeeps normally always know something, right? That's, that's just always the way it is. There's this guy over here. I don't know how much he's going to know, but he, he's like sneezing and coughing and stuff. And then we're going to have to talk to this Sean guy again, because it turns out he was at the dig, which is not what he told us. So I'm sure there's something that he knows as well. But we're going to do that in the next one, because we're out of time. So far, Ireland is very nice, and we seem to be on something here. But that does it for this episode. So as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne, Nate, Terminally Nerdy, Paul from the Fans of Velos, and Lyle for all the support. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you all next time.